Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I have got a little bit of explaining to do and I thought it was about time that I came on here, made a little video and kind of explained where I've been over the last few months because I'm pretty sure I haven't filmed a video in like three months now. It honestly feels like longer, like I, this feels strange, like sitting in front of the camera feels really weird and it feels like it's been such a long time since I've done this um, because it has and I just want to, yeah, explain a few things, apologise and talk about my plans for 2024. I can't believe it's 2024, that sounds so bizarre. Um, but yeah, this is just gonna be a little catch up video because I feel like it's been a long time and I wanna have a chat with you all. So firstly, I just wanna say I'm really, really, really sorry for not posting on my YouTube channel um, for like a good few months now. If you are a regular watcher of my videos, then I wanna thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video um, and for always watching my content. It means a lot to me and I want this video to just kind of explain to you um, why I've not really been filming much lately and like what's been going on in my life and stuff. So yeah, firstly, I'm just really, really sorry that I haven't been good at filming for a long time now. I think I could sit here and make a lot of excuses as to why I haven't filmed, but ultimately the main reason is that I just felt like I ha haven't had the time to film. Like my life's been really busy the last few months. So yeah, firstly, I feel like I haven't had the time to do it. Secondly, I have been making YouTube videos now for probably around 10 years. And there are a lot of videos on this YouTube channel and I filmed a lot of content in my life. And I just kind of got to a point where I felt like I was repeating myself. I felt like I had no fresh ideas. I felt like the videos I were making, I wasn't even happy with. I was just making them for the sake of making a video. And I never want it to be like that on my channel because I think people will realize and people won't want to watch anymore. Like I don't want to make content that isn't authentic and that isn't helpful or inspiring or like fun to watch. So yeah, I just kind of got to a point where I was like, I have nothing left to film. I have no ideas left. So I just kind of went off grid for a bit and didn't post anything. I feel like my main job as well, where I work, I do social media as part of my job and that can be quite creative and I absolutely love my job, but it takes out the creative thoughts in me. And then I feel like when I get home in the evenings, I just wanna sit and watch TV and like clean the flat and be productive and have a nice dinner and chill and catch up with friends and stuff. Like I just haven't, felt inspired to be honest with you i've the inspiration has been lacking a lot however it sounds very cliche um but since january has rolled around i do feel very different and i feel like i've got this new lease of energy and i feel like i've got this new kind of lease of creativeness and i've got all of these ideas going around in my head and i just felt the urge to pick up the camera and to film a video which i haven't felt for such a long time so i was like i need to do this while i'm feeling it um so yeah i am back i'm gonna be back filming videos and i want to talk a little bit in this video as well about my that's my phone um, I want to talk a little bit in this video about my like goals for 2024. Now, I don't necessarily set like New Year's resolutions or anything like that. I know people can be a bit funny about them um, and I totally get why. But for me, I do find that January is a good time to set new goals for myself and kind of bring new things into my life and put things in the past. Like I like that fresh start and I like that order. Um, so I have set myself a few little goals that I want to achieve this year. And um, one of them is doing YouTube again and trying to put more effort and time into creating content because I do ultimately love it and I never want to stop this whole YouTube thing. Um, I've never wanted to stop it. I always knew I would come back and do it eventually. It was just being in the right headspace and um, I knew that that would come back if I just allowed myself a break and didn't force it. And that is thankfully what's happened. So hopefully you guys will be pleased to know that I am going to be back filming as much content as I can. So if you've got anything you want to see, any updates or anything, let me know and I will film it. I've already got a list of ideas that I want to film this year. Um, well, mostly just for January. I haven't thought any further ahead than January. Um, 
So yeah, that's kind of first things first, why I've not been filming and that I'm back and I'm gonna be hopefully creating lots of exciting content for you all. The second thing I wanna talk about in this video um, is yeah, my new year's resolutions. So the first one is <laughs> being creative and getting back on the YouTube grind and trying to film content and also try and uh, create more content over on TikTok and Instagram. I've said this for a while now to myself, like I've been trying to put more out on TikTok. It doesn't feel natural to me. Like I really struggle with TikTok. I'd much rather sit and film like a long chatty video. Um, I think just because my personality I'm a bit of a bit of a waffler um, and I like to just sit and chat and go on and on whereas you can't really do that on TikTok it's all very short form content so I'm gonna be trying my best to get into that and just be creative in all aspects of life and just really try and push the content film things document things put more effort in and just set aside a time to be honest to do it I think during the winter months I do find it a lot harder to um like be creating content purely because obviously I wake up and it's pitch black I go to work and then by the time I come back from work it is pitch black again so I never feel like there's any time in the day to like film content and I always want it to be like good lighting and you know it's hard to take Instagram photos when it's dark outside so I think my content does always lack in the winter and autumn months um but hopefully as we creep into summer it will get better and better um, so yeah, that's my first one is to be more creative. My second one is um, not a resolution, not a resolution as such, but something that I do want to try harder at because I honestly completely stopped going. So I was going to the gym a lot last year, especially at the start of the year. I feel like this is always a pattern with me. Um, yeah, I was going to the gym a lot. I signed up to a new gym and I was going quite consistently. And then the last like few months, I just completely stopped going. Like I fell out of love with it. And I feel like with me, if I don't go to the gym, for like more than a week, I then get really bad fear and I don't wanna go back and I just get out of the routine. Whereas when I actually go, I come home, I shower, I feel good. I'm like, oh, I actually enjoyed that. Like that made, that made me feel good. I wanna go again tomorrow or the next day. So I wanna try and get back into a routine and I've been twice so far this year, which for me is good. It's the 6th of January, um, but I was away at the start of January. I only came back on like the 2nd. So then I went to the gym on the 3rd, I think, or the 4th, and then I've gone again today. I went this morning. I also, that's another thing with me, I have to go first thing in the morning, otherwise I will not go. Like, I have to get up, go to the gym, shower, and then get on with my day. Otherwise, if I go to work and stuff and I haven't been to the gym, there is no chance you will see me at the gym in the evening because I just want to come home and eat dinner and relax. So I have to do it first thing in the morning. And at the moment, I'm aiming for every other day. Um, and then the other thing, which is also linked to health and fitness and looking after my body. Um, it's not something I would usually talk about on my YouTube, but um, it's one of my resolutions and I want to share it with you. And I want to be open and honest on here. So I have stopped vaping. I also feel like if I say this on here, then there is no going back. Um, but most of you won't even know that I vaped. Um, it's not something that I show on my social media or whatever. And it's not like I was a full on vapor all the time. Um, but from like the age of when I went to uni, I used to smoke when I'd go out drinking. Like I was a social smoker. I would never smoke all the time, but it would always be when I go out on a night out. And then when vapes became a thing, I then started socially vaping. And obviously because vaping is way more addictive than smoking, I started vaping all the time. And it's very easily done when you can vape inside. I live at home, I'm literally on my own all the time. Like I get bored in the evenings. I just fell into a really awful habit of it. And the last few months I was pretty much vaping every single day and I hated it. I was like, I do not want this to be me. Like I don't wanna be doing this. So I decided to set myself the new year's resolution of giving up in January. And so far, so good. I have not touched my vape. Well, actually through, I had like a, dis um, like a refillable one and I've thrown like the pods and stuff away. So I, I couldn't have it even if I wanted to. I mean, obviously I could go and buy one, but I'm not going to. I feel better already. And it's only been like four days. Um, literally my breathing has improved so much. I feel like I've got more energy and I'm just noticing little things that might not even be related to it, but I'm telling myself they are so that I won't want to go back. Um, I've actually found it a lot easier than I thought I would. Like, 
I used to have to vape after like every meal. I'd be like, oh, I need a vape. Like, and I've completely got rid of that. I don't even think about it now. And it's only been a few days. So I'm really proud of myself. And I know that some people find it so hard to stop. And I feel like I'm quite strong-minded and quite strong-willed. And if I really want to do something, I will do it. And I've tried to give up before. And I've said like, oh, I'll stop next week or whatever. And then I never end up doing it because... I don't think I was ever ready to do it, um, but this time I really felt ready and I think that leads me on to my next thing that I want to talk about. So another reason I wanted to stop is because I'm not going to be able to vape for about two weeks in January um, and that is because da -da -da, I'm going to Thailand. Ah! It's, I'm so excited. It's very scary. So, I can't really remember when I booked it and I don't know if I've actually even mentioned it on my channel. I probably haven't because I haven't filmed a video in years. Um, but yeah, I am going to Thailand in January this month, literally in like two weeks. Ugh, makes me feel sick. Um, I'm going by myself. So I'm traveling out there by myself. So I get a flight from London to Dubai and then I change it to Dubai and then I go to Thailand. So it takes like longer than a whole day to travel there, which is madness because number one, I've never been on a flight that long. I've never had to like have a stopover and do like a connecting flight. And I've never even been on an airplane by myself, not even for like an hour. So I'm doing all of that in one go. So um, we're really jumping in the deep end here, but it's all good. It's for the self growth. Um, so yeah, I'm going to Thailand. I'm traveling by myself but when I get out there I'm meeting a group so you guys have probably heard of it if you know Bronte King she does the girls who graduate she also does girls who travel um, and they do like package tours where you pay for it and everything's kind of planned for you and you can pick different destinations around the world and there is one in Thailand and that is the one I'm doing so yeah it's a girls who travel tour um so when I'm out there I won't be alone which is much better because I don't think I could do it by myself like I don't think I'd want to do it by myself either. Um, I just like the idea of kind of doing it alone and being able to be proud of myself for doing something so big um, and so scary for me, but also not having to be completely alone when I'm out there. And also like meeting new people and making memories with like complete strangers who potentially could become like a huge part of your life and you could maybe go traveling again with them or like it's just so exciting and I feel like I'm going to meet so many new people and it's just such a big thing and like if you know me well I've probably spoken about it before on my channel but I have wanted to go traveling for the longest time now and for years and years and years I've always wanted to go traveling and I've never really had anyone to do it with like none of my partners have ever like been interested in going or have been in a situation with a job where they could go or there's just been lots of factors that have stopped me from doing it but I've wanted to do it for years and I just thought 2024 this is the year that I'm gonna do it for myself I'm just gonna book that ticket I'm gonna book that plane ticket I'm gonna get on the plane and I'm just gonna go um so it's a 10 day tour but I'm kind of away for a little bit longer than that with the traveling either side um a lot of the girls so I'm in a group chat with the girls that are going now so we're kind of all getting to know each other a little bit which is nice um and a lot of them are staying on longer afterwards or are going earlier than the tour starts so that they can do a bit of traveling by themselves first I wasn't brave enough to do that not this time maybe again if I do something like this again I'd I would be brave enough to do that but I just think what I'm doing now is already enough like when I booked it no joke I was at my mum and dad's when I booked it all and I was sat there and I was getting the worst chest pains ever and I was like oh my god this is because I'm so anxious about doing it and then I cried whenever I sit down or think about it or like watch videos on TikTok of like people traveling around Thailand I just bawl my eyes out and I start crying because it's such a big thing for me like I've never I've never been anywhere on my own I've never done anything like I've never been to somewhere like Thailand and I've never been away for this long like there's so many new things that I'm doing all in one go that it just makes me so emotional but in such a good way like I am scared and terrified but I know I'll be fine and I know it's going to be like the best thing I've ever done so yeah I've got that coming up I go on the 19th of January my flight is actually on the 20 no it's not my flight is on the 19th the tour starts on the 20th but I'm traveling up to London a little bit before that to get the flight and stuff so yeah it's literally like two weeks away 
which is mad. Um, and I still haven't got a rucksack. I still haven't finished like getting all of the things I need. So that is what this weekend is for. So I'm gonna be filming loads of content. I'm gonna be making little TikToks, filming a couple of YouTube videos and getting those up. And then I'm gonna start my packing and I'm gonna make a list and go into town and get everything I need from like boots. I need to get a rucksack, just lots of little random things. I need to go and get money out. Um, yeah, I've got this like notepad that I've just been jotting down everything in. And I've got so many random lists going on right now, but it's all good. We're organized, it's all under control. Um, so yeah, that is like my little update. I think that's everything I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, do let me know if there's anything you wanna see from me. I have got a few ideas of videos that I want to film. I'm gonna film what I got for Christmas because I've done that every year for like the last 10 years. So I feel like I have to do it. I wanna film a video about books that I read last year because I actually read so many books last year. Um, so I wanna do a little kind of like roundup of the books that I read and which ones I would recommend and which ones I wouldn't. So hopefully that will be interesting to some people. I do feel like I'm expecting my videos to not get many views now because I haven't been here for a while and I've kind of gone away. So I'm assuming I'll have lost some engagement, which is fine, I completely get it. Um, but I'm gonna film the content nevertheless because that's what I wanna do and hopefully my people will find my videos and it will be helpful and useful and interesting to some people. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do what I got for Christmas, books from last year, and then I feel like I wanna film like some packing videos for Thailand. So do let me know if that would be of interest to you and if you guys wanna see that. I am also, I think I'm like 90% sure that I'm gonna film the trip. Um, I'm just, the only thing that's like swaying me to not Obviously I want to because I want to document it and I want it for the memories. Part of me is a tiny bit scared to film in front of strangers, but then I just think they're strangers so they're not gonna care and like everyone's gonna be filming stuff. So I feel like I do wanna do it, but I'm also like, I've gotta lug my camera around, which is an extra thing to take, an extra thing that I could lose, an extra thing I could break. I've then gotta take the charger for it. Like, do I just want to be present? I really don't know and I'm very undecided. So please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you would like to see it. Because if lots of you do, then I will film it. Um, so yes, I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you all had a lovely last few months <laughs> since I've last spoken to you all. And I hope you had a nice Christmas and a lovely New Year's Eve. And yeah, I feel good about 2024 and I'm sending you all loads of love, loads of positivity. And yeah, I'm excited to be back. So I hope you guys are excited that I'm back as well. And yeah, I will see you very, very shortly with another brand new video. Goodbye.